after yet another bear sighting this morning, people are asking what is bringing bears out of their natural habitat. Statewide, we have 25 to 30,000 bears that live in the wild. And this morning around 7 o'clock, officers encountered a bear in a Tehachapi neighborhood. The bear ended up on neighbors' porches before it finally became aggressive and was shot. The police say they were concerned for the safety of children who are walking to school. Fish and Game says the reason bears are heading for the suburbs is the lack of food and water. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle found out illegal activities are also playing a role in bringing out the bears. Fish and Wildlife say this is the worst bear season in 40 years. As far as bear sightings go, I get calls in the hundreds. The most recent bear sighting happened this morning when a bear wandered down this street and neighbors took their safety into their own hands. Residents called police and they say when the bear became aggressive, an officer opened fire. I'm really disappointed that somebody would take it in their hands to shoot a bear. The spike in sightings fish and wildlife say is attributed to the drought. Another factor is people illegally stealing water. These grow sites, they require a lot of water. The Kern County Sheriff busted a large marijuana garden in East Bakersfield earlier this week. They were diverting water from known water sources um, by using uh, tubing. Uh, hosing uh, to divert the water to their grow sites. Water that would have gone to farms and wildlife. Fish and Game say this month there have been less bear incidences. We strongly recommend that folks don't feed or water wildlife. In the meantime, people are wondering where the animals might show up next. They seem to be popping up in Golden Hills and in town now, so that's very surprising. Realtor Linda Klaus says she's worried about the impact bears might have on her properties. I have a house listed around the corner and I thought I'd go check it out to make sure nothing's in the backyard because it has beautiful apple trees loaded with apples. Creating one more temptation for hungry, thirsty wildlife. Cassie Carlisle, 23 ABC. And Fish and Wildlife say they get anywhere from 5 to 35 calls a day about bears.